Hello there, everyone, and uh, I'm glad to be back. Uh, <laughs> wasn't gone for long, uh, but uh, yeah, if you're seeing this, you've discovered that the old channel, unfortunately, uh, is no more. 70,000 plus subscribers, 7,000 plus videos uh, gone. Uh, third strike from the NHK, and you just get an email that says, your channel's gone. Uh, so, but it's happening to a lot of others. It's happened to Nato. It's happened to Kintamiyama. And it looks like that's just what NHK wants to do right now. I can't blame them. It's their material. I've always said, if you go back and, well, you can't, <laughs> I can't say that anymore. If you go back and watch the old videos, um, uh, you know, I knew at, at any time. But they mostly left me alone. And I think mostly because I didn't ever monetize. I never put ads. And that seemed to be fine. And obviously, I got 10 plus years of the channel. The channel started in 2010. Uh, and it's now the beginning of 2023. So it was a great run. And I know a lot of you are upset that it's gone. Um, and I am too, of course. Uh, I had a, a couple dark days there where it was really sad. Um, but luckily, it happened the week that I was going to go to see the Hakuho retirement ceremony. And that uh, obviously gave me something to focus on. I, I, I didn't even really think about it that much until I got there on that Saturday. And then, of course, I started bumping into people and talking to people. And people were coming up that knew me and uh, from the channel and, and saying, for lack of a better word, their condolences. Uh, on the, the death of the channel. Um, and a lot of people got very angry at the NHK or, or maybe the Sumo Association. Uh, I'm, I'm not angry. You know, it, it's, it is what it is. Um, and we had a really good run. So let's, you know, let's be positive. Let's talk about what's going to go forward, get what's going to be happening. Um, uh, I do want to, uh, in a minute, I'm going to go over a little bit of the fun stuff that I got at the Hakuho ceremony. But I am going to make a totally separate, normal wrap up the January Boss Show video. I've just obviously been really busy. And uh, even this weekend kind of got away from me. So it'll probably go up around the 12th of February. Uh, and I'll talk about what happened in January. And I want to talk sumo stuff, right? That's what this channel is for. Um, and I want to talk about what we can expect in March. I hope to go see some live sumo. I've already put my order in with Jeff at buysumotickets.com um, to go on day 14. So if you're going to Osaka and you're going to be there on the final weekend, I might, I hope to be going. My niece, my niece, Brittany, who's, God, I should know how old she is, 33, maybe. I think her birthday is in March. So I think she turns 33. She just got married about a year ago. I couldn't go home for the wedding because of pandemic and stuff. And she married a really nice guy. I've met him. His name is Alex. And so they are coming to Japan. Her first time ever. I've lived here since 2004. She's never visited before. So they're going to obviously want to spend time, young people in Tokyo. And uh, and then we're going to meet at Osaka. And uh, I really like this hotel that I go to all the time in Kobe. So I'm going to get a room. Uh, we're going to hang out. Hopefully Saturday, I'm going to take him to the sumo. Sunday, I think we're going to go see Himeji Joe, which is a big famous castle, Himeji Castle um, nearby. Uh, don't know exactly, you know, what the plans are, but uh, spend a good weekend with the Hank, the two of them. And uh, they've got the JR Rail Pass, and then they'll go off, and, and I'll come back to it to work. I, as a teacher in Japan, March is graduation season, and then April is the beginning of the new school year. So we're winding down final exams the first week of March for most of my grades, my classes. Uh, but we don't really get a spring break because in Japan, it's all about like changing over old teachers leave, new teachers come. You can kind of take a few days off here and there, but we don't get like a, a spring break. We don't get like two full weeks off like we do at winter. Um, so even though the end of the Basho in March is, is like the 25th of March, I still would have to take, you know, a paid day off, et cetera, you know. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I can't stay away for a long time, but uh, I'm looking forward to seeing Brittany and, and Alex and having fun in Osaka. Um, another video that's going to be coming up is I bought a brand new box sealed still of the new brand new sumo cards that are a lot of fun. I, I opened one box and got a autograph. 
I don't know if I have it around. I don't. Um, who did I get? Oh, here they are. Uh, I put them in a little bag. Let me open these real quick here. That was a pen dropping on the floor, by the way. Not my house falling apart. Oh, you know me. I can't open small things. Ah, here we go. Okay, so here's some recent autographs. I picked this one up just because I saw it on Yahoo Auctions at a good price. This is a, a subset called BB uh, Infinity. And that is obviously Chenono Fuji, the Yokozuna, and it's numbered out of 60. So it is limited. It is his authentic autograph with the BBM stamp. And this is not in the normal boxes. It's like a it's like a card set where they have baseball players, auto racers, basketball players, all kinds of Japanese athletes are in this set. And so he did uh, uh, an autograph. So I figured I should have the Yokozuna's autograph. So I got that. Um, oh, this is just an old Abi card I have. So that'll probably be a prize someday if you're an Abi fan. So Endo is the card I got out of my box. And this is number 48 of 60. So uh, hopefully I'll pull another one. And then this one I bought for about $30 um, because at the time he might have won the U show, right? <laughs> so I was like, well, I'm going to snap that up. So why it's numbered out of 59 instead of 60, I have no idea. But it's 52 out of 59 and it's Koto Shoho. And he is, it's the same set. It's this brand new set. See the design? Um uh, I'm not a huge fan, but I thought, wow, if he wins the U show, this card is going to, you know, really move. Uh, and then he didn't. But uh, so it'll probably be a prize later on. So you're saying to yourself, Jason, prizes, are you still going to do contests? Yeah, I, I hope to. Um, I don't see why not. I can still run the, the contest. And, uh, you know, if enough of you come along, uh, we're going to jump over to the new channel in a minute. We'll see how many people have subscribed. I just tweeted out the link, I think, yesterday or the day before. Um, I created a new Gmail, you know, uh, created a new channel. There's like one video up. This will be video number two. Um, and we'll just grow and we'll just see how we, we do. Now, the big question all of you have, are you going to do some kind of match coverage? Are you going to do your day one, day two, day three? No, I, I just can't. Um, some of you have suggested alternatives, uh, Bema, uh, which is an internet service here in Japan that I could watch, you know, without a VPN. Um, but but I'm going to be completely 100%, 100 honest with you guys. I'm There's a tiny part of me that's glad that this happened because I've been doing this for so long, every other month for 10 plus years, I kind of need a break. And so it'll be nice in March not to have to worry about putting up matches all 15 days. Um, it, it's not a lot of work. I don't want to characterize it as, oh, woe is me. And I enjoy it. Of course I do. I love talking with you guys about sumo, and I love making those videos. But it'll be nice not to have to do it all the time. I wish I had the option of doing it or not doing it. But uh, I can't, you know, film my TV anymore. That's just not an option, right? And so... Uh, I, I feel a little weird about trying to jump back on filming another, you know, copyrighted uh, thing. And, and there's no English play-by-play -play on Abema. So that kind of advantage that I had where I could watch the NHK coverage change it to English. So when I wasn't talking, you were still hearing English. That would all go away. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't know exactly. And to be honest, a, a lot of you are like, well, you would have to connect it to your computer and uh, do it like this. And, you know, I it's it's that's too much work, guys. I'm sorry. It's the simplicity of being able to just put my iPad on a tripod, iPad on a tripod and hit record, have it film my TV, talk, you know, into the microphone on the iPad at the same time, hit stop and then upload that video to YouTube label it and go and you know boom you're you're ready that's what i'm looking for if you have a system that's that simple for this you know adult 53 year old brain then let me know uh, but anything a little more complicated than that I, i'm really not that interested twitch uh, i just i don't think so um well plus the thing is is most days let's say twitch is 4 p.m to 6 p.m japan time 
but people are live streaming it wherever they are in another part of the world because it's on some other time. But for me, see, most days, you know, the Basho has five weekend days, the first Sunday, the middle weekend, the final weekend. The rest of the 10 days are, are weekdays and I'm at, I'm at work. So I couldn't get home to live stream Sumo, even if I wanted to, most days, I'm if I'm lucky, I can leave work right at five o'clock, be home by 530. And that would maybe I'd get the top five matches of the day, like the last five matches of the day going into the Musubi no Ichiban. So that wouldn't really work either. Because um, I don't know how you could record a Bema. See, I used to record on the on my TV, you know, my DVR, and I would go back and look and and sometimes I would do live. It was usually live because I wouldn't know who won or not. So even though I might have been recording the video at 6 p.m. or 7 p.m. after the sumo had finished for the day, it was still kind of like instant. I hadn't looked up the scores or who won. So anyway, yeah. No more match coverage for at least a little while until I figure out something or somebody comes up with a good system for me. Um, so that's disappointing. And I know a lot of you are like, well, where am I going to go? I think Nato is trying to run around and start new channels and they find him and then they cancel him. I think Kintamiyama is going to take at least one bus show off. Um, so the big, the big, the big, the huge disappointment was the archive, right? Because it was amazing to be able to go back when Okonomi retired, right? 270 Okunomi videos on my channel that I could watch. I, I got to watch his very, very first match ever in the top division. I got to watch him the one time he beat Hakuho in his career. I went back and I watched about 10 old Okunomi matches. It was great. Um, and, and, and that, you know, even having to listen to myself, which is not the most fun for me. But, you know, I was like, you know, this is really great. And now they're gone. But some very quick-witted sumo fans that heard that I was having these troubles started to download my videos. And I believe, I, I'm not sure exactly, but I'm going to put a link down in the description. There is a website called, well, I'm going to get it wrong right now, but I'll, I'll find, well, let's go, let's go look. I think it's called archive.org or archive.com. And a, a huge chunk of my videos are already up. And I think they're in the process of uploading them. And so they're just going to exist there. Now, I don't know how you navigate that site. I, I searched and found it by putting like Jason Sumo. I, I can't remember what I narrowed the, the parameters down to. And I finally found it. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'll try to see if I can come up with a more specific link to the actual like archive page. But that's awesome. And so my hat's off. Thank you. I've emailed the people responsible. I've offered, you know, compensation and stuff. They're like, no, we just did this because we love your channel. We wanted to preserve the archive. So I know at least like 2009, we're talking about before I even had the channel and I was uploading, I think maybe still to my Argonauts, whatever. From there until like 2015 was saved by one guy. And then another guy did like 2016 to now. So it might be in two separate areas, but anyway, I'm going to look into that more and I'll hopefully have more definitive links in the wrap up video in a week or so. But yeah, look down in the description, click on that if you want to look and see So Thank you so much to those guys who did that. Uh, and that that's kind of a load off my mind that, that some of those videos will still exist because it wasn't just that you know, every match video went away. It was any video I made, like interviewing John Gunning or unboxing videos or me at Live Sumo. All of those videos that are actually my property were gone too, of course. They just erase everything. So it's nice to know that maybe some of those still exist. Okay, so I went to uh, Hakuho's quick drink. Don Pachiki, his hair cutting ceremony. And I tweeted a lot about, so if you're on my Twitter, I'll put the link in the description. Uh, you saw a lot of that stuff. And I put one video up just to test the channel of, of him doing his final dohyo iri uh, at the actual ceremony from my box, you know, just holding my phone camera. And I ran into Will from Toyama, and he wrote me this very nice uh, little note. And I was so touched, actually, by so many of you reaching out telling me how much the channel meant to you. There's an awesome guy who made a whole video 
with a really hilarious thumbnail with like a guy pouring out a 40, you know, and, and my logo and, and uh, just how much he liked the channel. Um, so many people uh, have, uh, have sent me messages. Uh, so Will from Toyama gave me some nice snacks and he gave me this nice little letter. Um, Jason and Nick, who came to the dinner that we had after the event, are from Portland. Uh, yo, Portland. <laughs> and gave me a little bag of, of goodies and, 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 and snacks and, and things um, and, and funny Bigfoot stuff. And uh, I, I love that. Uh, Jeff was brought a bunch of stuff from buysumotickets.com. So I got a ton of Bonzikes, um, you know, the official Bonzike, uh from him to give out his future prizes. Um, Sarah from Sarah Love Sumo was there with her friend. And uh, Rich was there with his wife. And uh, uh, I think Rich is in. I need to email him. I think he's in the Sumo Primetime coverage, like as a talking head interview uh, in, in the, in, on the day from Hero. Um, so that's funny. Uh, what else? And so I bought a ton of souvenirs, um, you know, with just the thought of future Sumo. Uh, so let me just show you a few things here. If you're, if you're interested, hang around. Wow. This is glorious. So this is... This I stood in line for for about 45 minutes. The line to get to one of the souvenir tables was like all the way around and then down past the bathrooms. And oh my gosh. Um, and I actually saw more wrestlers just standing in that line walking past. A guy right in front of me got Enho with a selfie. And I just was like, ah, I should have said something. So it, it folds out like this. And that was kind of the poster of the event. And then of course, just just tons of amazing uh color photos all of his life sorry let me see if i can turn around here uh you know shots uh timeline uh just just replete all his records uh how he opened his new stable uh some ads of course i'm actually going the wrong way in, J in japan you would oh this would be the first page okay because you go the other way just amazing, glorious shots. So I'm sorry I didn't buy another one of these to give away as a prize or something. It was a little pricey, but it wasn't terrible. Um, <laughs> there's him running with Asa Shoru. I love that picture. Uh, so anyway, uh, but this is obviously my treasure. This is this is what I bought for me. Uh, so just glorious. I don't know if. Robert over at Big Sumo Fan is able to get his hands on some of those if you'll see it crop up in other places. I did have some extra bags of some of the stuff they were giving away. So I will probably give away some of this stuff. Um, kind of they, they put out this sort of newspaper that they gave out on the day, just filled with Hakuho stuff. So I grabbed a couple extra of these and uh, just, you know, I'm sure the fold out. Yeah, look at that. It's awesome. So, um, you know, all of this stuff will become prizes for future contests. So if you're a Hakuho fan, I know he's not wrestling anymore, of course. Uh, there's possibly some good stuff coming your way. Uh, the program of what was happening on the day and just some other fun stuff in here, all in like a special bag. Uh, so that's one thing. What else did I buy? Um Oh, I bought this towel. I don't know if I'm going to put this towel up in my house or give it away, but this is what it looks like full out. Okay, pretty pretty cool. And uh, yeah, it's 135 centimeters by 90 centimeters. So if you want to know how big it is, it's kind of like a small beach towel size when you fold it all out. So I picked that up. What else did I pick up? Anything This came in my like goodie bag, just like some rice crackers and kishi. Oh, I did pick up this pretty kick-ass uh, Akuho. These are called clear files. That's for me for school. Uh, ah, this is one of the more fun items I picked up. This I will give away. It's a little bag. Okay. I don't know. I guess you could, you could put your bento in here or maybe your pencil case or something. But it's got a Hakuho sticker, and he actually signed it. That's his real 
ink on it's not a reproduction he individually signed because i looked at like three or four of them and they're all slightly different so this is his real signature on this item pretty cool looking i don't know exactly how useful this bag would be but somebody's got to be like oh yeah that'd be perfect for my blah 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 you know my knitting or my cell phone and my blah when i go on the train or something so that'll be a prize someday um pretty cool i thought uh some more just nifty clear files. These are just sort of random ones. Uh, the guy who did this art, unfortunately, passed away a year or so ago. So I don't know if they have an archive or if somebody else is now uh, doing art in his style to reproduce uh, or make new art. Uh, but uh, yeah, what else did I get in here? I kind of forgot. Oh, I got a Hakuho coaster. <laughs> just put my beverage on. Um, I got a ton of keychains and magnets so let me just show you some of the keychains i got of course got hakuho had to get hakuho okay got abi love that abi with the splits buddha hakake show uh terano fuji and i got okonomi yeah! <laughs> and enho <laughs> so that and then in the similar style magnets Pretty nice little fridge magnets. Uh, so there you go. Uh, you know. uh, oh, I only got two magnets. I got Tochi Notion. Cool. So that's just all uh, future contest stuff. Although I might be going to the Osaka tournament. I, I hope I am. I mean, I put my order in for tickets. Oh, and the last thing I got was this cool... A uh, fan. Uh, I'm not going to take it out and spread it out, but it's a uh, hakuho, and it says, you know, it's this ceremony, and it's you know a collapsible fan. Pretty cool. So that's pretty much what I got. Um. So yeah, I just had a wonderful time. I think you know if you've been following me on Twitter, uh, you know. Uh, I got to go to Disneyland, the Tokyo version of Disneyland, which I'd never been to before, even though I've lived here since 2004, uh, with a with a sumo fan named Randall. He met me there. We didn't stay that long. We got there about 1030. We left about 530 p.m. But for me, I got to go on all the rides they have there. They don't have it. The one in California that, you know, is near my hometown of San Diego and that I've been to a, a, a bunch of times. Um, and I'd gone to Disney Sea, uh, the, the other big Disney park in Tokyo. Um, that's really unlike any other Disney park, which is fantastic. I highly recommend Disney Sea. Um, I went there in 2019 with Melissa in May, uh, another sumo fan. And I, I can't tell you how lucky I am that, you know, you just roll the dice. You'd say, hey, meet me. Anyone want to meet me and go to Disneyland? And somebody says yes. And they show up and they're a delightful human and you have a wonderful day. And, and Randall was a delightful guy and we had a great day. And uh, he didn't mind me blathering on about <laughs> Disneyland uh, trivia and stuff, because I know a lot about Disneyland. Um, and so I was like, oh, well, you see here, they've done this differently. And, oh, they've added this to this, you know, and he used the oh, OK. And, uh, and Melissa was wonderful, too, when she met me and we went to Disney Sea. So uh, anyway, uh, I, I just had a great weekend, uh, despite the channel having gone away. We met at TGI Fridays. I got to eat all that. Uh, you know, bad American food. <laughs> we had a terrible waiter, uh, but you don't tip in Japan. So I don't know, you know, I was like, he was just not too happy to be assigned the table of nine noisy gaijin. And uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they kind of scooted us out. They're like, yeah, it's last call. We're like, okay, we haven't had dessert yet. He's like, yeah, you got 15 minutes, you know, we're like, okay. And then we ended up going to karaoke. Uh, some of us, not everybody, but some of us went to karaoke and we had another two hours of fun there. And so it was a really fun, 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 fun weekend. All right. So let me share my screen. Last thing here, and we'll look at the new channel. So uh, I didn't go too far afield <laughs> uh, with, with the name. As you can see, I haven't even added anything to that Google homepage. But here I am. Went with the Okonomi and me face here. And so I just called it Sumo Jason. And uh, I figure that's easy to find. Hopefully, I, I searched it the other, uh, about a day and a half ago, and nothing came up. 
So I'm hoping that it's just sort of entering the algorithm and it'll it'll find its way. So this video that I popped up already has a thousand views and I have 800 subscribers in like two days. So that's insane. Um, so this is it. And uh, can you see this bigger? I just thought I'd show it to you. Oh, I don't want to edit it though. Oh, well, there it is. Maybe you can kind of see it now. So it's just that picture of me and the poster. And uh, <clears throat> so I haven't really... I just threw up some pictures here for, for a banner. I haven't added anything, no playlists or anything. So um, let's see if it just says anything about, I think once I get to a thousand subscribers, I can monetize. Um, and because it'll all always be my original content, um, I guess I will. I mean, why not? Uh, 795 current subscribers, it says here. So yeah, I, I might get to a thousand by next weekend when I put up the uh, wrap up video, and let's just see how many comments on that first video. I'm sure, it's a ton. So yeah, so everybody that's commenting, uh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I'll try to get to them. Uh, I think there'll probably be a bunch. Oh, here, how do I check? Uh, I go here. Uh, Seventy one comments. So that's not that's not outrageous. I can probably go by and stop and see most of those. So there is the new channel, and. Uh, Go ahead and go by and give it a subscribe. Obviously, you've sort of made your way here if you're watching this video. And this is where I'll be popping up the new stuff. So, uh, yeah. So, it, coming in February, wrap-up video. I do want to give away. Uh, I figured out the calendar situation. Two of the people that won the old calendar, the 2022 calendar, never emailed me back. So, I feel like enough time has gone by. Now, I need to email two other people on the list. Uh, that one's just, you know, the old 2022 one. The 2023 people I got, I took care of. Um, but there were the other people that waited until the end of the bus show that were, you know, just going to win some sumo swag from uh, naming Takakesho as the winner. And so those people, um, maybe they'll benefit from some of this stuff. And I have some other stuff I'm trying to uh, just, you know, kind of clear up the house a little bit maybe now and get rid of some stuff. So uh, yeah, so wrap up video and unboxing video. And then of course, let's look ahead to March just really quick. The bot show starts on the 12th. So what I'll still do is probably around the 5th of March, I'll do a welcome video and we'll talk about what's happening. Is Terra Fuji going to come back? What's happening with Takake show? Yada, 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 yada. And uh, I'll probably run a contest. You know, I probably, I just said that out loud and now I'm, I'm, I'm taking it back. I probably won't run a contest in March. Because I won't probably be around the final weekend. I'll be with my niece and her husband. And so I think I'm just going to kind of take March off. And then in May, we'll come back with a contest. Michael, my contest guy, Mike, uh, has said he'll still happy to help me out in the future. So yay. And uh, we'll just run, you know, pick five guys contest like we've been doing. Um, so... Yeah, uh, and the May bus show is May 14th through the 28th. That's back in Tokyo. The March bus show, of course, is in the city of Osaka. And uh, But I will, what I'll probably do is do the welcome video. Then Sunday, day one, I'll do a, hey, this is what happened on day one. Uh, here's some, you know, here's updated news. Oh, this person decided to drop out. Terano Fuji didn't show up after all. You know, whatever happens. Then I'll wait you know, till day seven or day eight, the next weekend, make a, here's what's happening midway through the tournament. And it'll just be kind of like me like this talking uh, with no footage. So I don't know if you're down for that. Some of you have said you are, um, we'll see, you know, if, if nobody watches, then maybe I won't keep going. But, um, and, and also, of course, it gives you a chance to, you know, put links down in the comments or comments down in the comments. And I think we have a really good sumo community so you can still interact with each other. Um, but if you're in a foreign place and you just need, you just want to watch sumo, um, yeah, it's going to have to be somewhere else. Uh, Tachiai, I'll put a link down to Tachiai. They just put up a, a list about, you know, the situation and how NHK is striking down all these channels. And so where can you go? Um, there is like TV Japan, if you're in North America, there's uh, VPNs, which I don't know how successful those are at getting the Abema feed. There's Twitch, there's live streams like Salt City Sumo. Uh, 
et cetera, et cetera. So there are ways. Um, not all of them are on YouTube. Uh, and of course, there's lots of Japanese content in Nihongo. You know, everything's in, in Japanese, everything who do exactly what I was doing with just little snippets that haven't been struck down. So it seems weird that they've gone after the English language, but I think we all know why. Um, so some other channels will stick around um, because they weren't using the NHK stuff. And I think you know who I'm talking about there. So his channel is still around. Um, yeah. Uh, so 2023 is going to be an interesting year. We'll see if maybe there's something that can change. Um, but uh, still going to have a tip jar. I told all the monthly tip jar people, the, the Patreon people, to stop. I, I asked them. I sent them an email right after it happened. And I said, you should all cancel your monthly subs you know, contribution because uh, I, I wouldn't feel right taking your money anymore because while I did spend a bunch in the Hakuho thing for the channel to give away as prizes and stuff, uh, I figured, you know, going forward from February forward, a um, couple people said, hey, I'm just going to keep sending you money and, and just to help you out with the new channel. I'm like, okay, thank you so much. But most people are, are starting to cancel. And, um, but if you do want to go buy the tip jar, um, I will still have that link. I'm not going to cancel it. I still will have my my shirt shop. If you want to go by there, I get a little bit. This is my Zen Zen Wakata Nai shirt. So a very fun one to wear. I went to the shopping mall today and, and it got a lot of fun looks uh, for this shirt. Japanese people love it. And yeah, so some things will kind of just keep chugging along. But match coverage is not coming back, at least uh, not in March. Uh, and we'll see if something happens and it can change for May. Um, but uh, I'll still be watching. Uh, I don't even know if I could even show like 10 seconds of a match. Like, you know, just like like me doing like a news report and showing just little tiny snippets. But uh, even that would kind of be more work than maybe I want to put into it. So, uh yeah, it's end of an era, guys. I I, I don't know what to say. Um, it, it's it's sad because I you know I I never felt like I was exploiting uh, or taking advantage of of sumo. I felt like I was spreading it and and making fans and bringing people to see live sumo who might not have ever even thought about buying a ticket to a sumo match and spending that hundred dollars for a seat you know or four hundred dollars for a box with a couple friends or something and I, I mean just from the the outpouring of of great messages so many of you have said that you found sumo through my channel and so that alone i feel like has made it worthwhile and something that the nhk if they were a little bit more open-minded might have embraced but uh they didn't so and that's their prerogative so uh, we will just march ahead. But I still want to be around. I'm still living in Japan. I plan to live here. I've already signed up my, my new contract. So I will be teaching from April of 2023 to March of 2024 for sure. So I will be here for another six spot show. So um, I will be on this channel, this new channel, telling you about it in some way or form every bot show. So please come back. Please subscribe. And uh, thanks for your support. Okay. See you soon. Take care. Bye.